Welcome to Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig. Well, we have a we have a part in hand here that's broken off of a motorcycle, and this gentleman happened to be walking by, saw us shooting this, and uh, his name is Isaac. So I want Isaac to describe what this part is. Okay, this is a rear rear brake caliper mount off of a YZF250. Uh, my friend was riding half day, broke the piece, um, gave it to me to see if I could try to bond it back together. So seeing this show, uh, getting videotaped, I thought maybe I could ask a few questions about the metal, maybe an easier way to, or technique to weld it, and here we are now. Well, great. The timing couldn't be better. This last weekend, I was doing weld repairs at the MotoGP in Indianapolis, and we got a lot of repairs like this. Now, this happens to be a cast aluminum. Now, sometimes it looks like it's a pop metal. Well, just the fact that this is as dense and heavy, heavy as it is, it's got a good content of aluminum in it. So that's how we're going to treat it, just like welding aluminum. Okay. Yeah, so. We didn't have him V-prep it very much. We did have him clean off the oxides and get the oils off, but uh, I'm gonna ask Isaac to hold this in place for me, and I'm gonna tack it in two places, and then I'm going to weld it. I'm using this machine, and I've got the machine set at 70% negative, meaning I'm gonna get good penetration, 30% positive on the square wave. So we're gonna set it down, tack it, and I'll show you after the tacking what it looks like then we'll weld it, and then we'll have Isaac inspect it, see if it's going to work for him. Here we go. I'm going to uh, start the welding process. Yeah, when, when welding cast, you know it's going to be dirty. So just stay on a little bit longer, dwell longer, let it boil out, let the machine do some work for you. And then it'll, it'll overheat, let it cool off just a little bit, and then get started again. Got out of position just a little bit, so I'm just kind of resetting my angle, and uh, I'll only be able to weld about a quarter to a half an inch at a time. You know, because it's a cast aluminum, you really don't know what alloy is in there. And there's actually a combination of alloys. So a lot of times I'll just use 4043 filler material. Okay, I'm going uh, to get in position. I'm only going to do about a quarter of an inch right now.
Okay, this whole thing is heating up quite a bit, so I'm going to give it a few minutes and just let it cool down. Okay. Isaac, you want to take a look at this without uh, touching it? It's pretty hot right now. It's great. Good penetration. It's all one piece now. All right. It's going to take about 10 minutes to cool, and then you can take it back and reassemble it. Well, thank you for watching Tig Time. I'm Mr. Tig.